In today's video, I'm going to share with you the glitchiest route in Madden 23 when it comes to dealing with the man coverage meta in this game. This is this route has the potential to bomb the loop blitz, to bomb any man coverage play and any man blitz play, more importantly, for a one play touchdown. So we're going to uh, show you this route. This is also one of the main reasons as to why most of the pro Madden players this year are running the Pittsburgh Steelers uh, gun bunch, and it's also why our first ebook um, out of the gun bunch this year was focused on the Pittsburgh playbook because not only does it have several other plays, but it has one specific play that is absolutely incredible when it comes to bombing man to man coverage. Now, if we look through this playbook here, you're going to see a couple of things that are really effective. Um, again, if you want to get the Pittsburgh Steelers bunch, just join the Patreon. It's only 10 bucks to sign up. And uh, you'll be able to, be, by becoming a member, you'll get access to all of our ebooks and all the updates. We're getting ready to do a major gun bunch update in the coming weeks. So make sure you're a Patreon member. That way you get it. Again, it's only 10 bucks to sign up. Now, the Steelers bunch playbook is the only bunch playbook in the game that has the bunch trail. It also has the corner strike. So it's the only playbook in the game that has those two plays uh, in conjunction with one another. It also has a really good verticals play. And then it also has deep corner, which is one of the best bomb plays or year in and year out, especially in this year's game. And then lastly, to top it all off, obviously it has several other effective plays, um, such as dig return, Z spot, um, double cross is actually really underrated. Uh, tight end hook, I think is one of the most underrated plays in bunch this year. There's so many good plays in this formation, but the play that we're going to focus on for this video is the play Steelers cross. If you take a look at the fade route on the right side of the screen, that is an unbumpable fade. And this is something that is really good whenever someone likes to run a lot of man to man press. So um, what you're going to see here is our receiver is on this kind of like, if I was to put Mike Williams on a fade here, you'll notice that his fade is just kind of a standard fade. It doesn't really have an exaggerated release animation. Whereas Keenan Allen has an exaggerated release animation, which is going to help this um, when it comes to beating man to man coverage. So what you're going to see here is on the snap of the ball, he's got a chance to do what he just did, where he basically bombs um, over the top of the man to man press. Now, a couple of things that are really important to identify whenever you're looking at this. Now, as we've gotten better players in Ultimate Team, this issue has kind of solved itself. But if you're in regs, this is something you need to be aware of. What you're going to look at for here is the route running rating. Ideally, you're looking for um, 80 plus deep route running or another rating that can actually play a factor is the receiver's release rating. Um, if they have a better release rating, that's always going to help. Short route running is also good. But basically, we're looking ideally about 85. If we can get 85 or higher route running on this, um, then you're going to have a better chance at getting this animation. Now, you might, you'll see here, sometimes his separation, like you saw right there, his separation was significantly better than the first time. Now, another thing that you can do with this fade route is you can motion him to the outside, and this is going to keep him from uh, getting hit by that deep safety. So you see here, but however, that's the other thing about when you motion him out like that. This is just my opinion, but I have noticed that when I motion the receiver out, I don't get the glitchy separation as much as if I was to keep him inside. So we'll talk about how to deal with the safety in just a second. But I'll show you another rep here. That time we get the separation, we can uh, freeform that outside and away. I will say also that you're noticing he doesn't always burn him over the top. Now, let me flip the play and show you Mike Williams. You notice that Mike Williams had a, a better release rating um, or a pretty decent release rating as well, but he's also taller. Um, I will say I think height does play a factor in all of this. So um, if you want to have tall receivers, Randy Moss is really good for this. Like Randy Moss on this route is really good in man-to-man -man coverage. Now, this play is not only good against man-to-man -man coverage, even though that is what it is best for. So let me give you kind of a full setup out of this play that you can use against any coverage in the game. So what we want to do here um, basically is this, very simple. We're just going to take the backside receiver and we're going to put him on um, a streak. And then really that's honestly it. What you could also do with your tight end though is put him on a zig. And you see that we can block our running backs. We have good protection. 
And, you know, this is just going to be kind of a, a play now that has space. And what you're going to notice is, let's say that your deep fade, let's say that your deep fade gets boxed, right? As you just saw that it did. Uh, let's say that your deep fade gets boxed in man to man. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to look to this crosser. And this crosser, you'll see here, gets really good separation. That's a 70 overall player that I have running that crossing route. And he's going to get pretty decent separation. Now, another thing that you could do if you wanted to is you could drag your tight end and it would just create a high low on the left side. And so what you'll see here is like if it's zone coverage, now we have kind of a high low read. So we can take this uh, little drag underneath or we could take our deep crosser depending on how they, uh, how they defend us. One other additional setup that you can do if you would like to is you could motion your tight end across and now you have a lot of different things you could do. You could block your tight end if you wanted to and then put your running back on a little in route or something like this. Or you could block your running back and put your tight end on a drag or a slant. Um, you could put him on a slant and then motion him across, right? Th those are all things you can do from this. Um, but what you'll see is I'm telling you right now, this crosser and the fade are really the two main reasons for calling this play. And as you can see, this is one of the best man beaters in the game. Now, again, like I said, um, I personally don't like motioning this route out. I like to leave it in compressed because I just feel like you get better separation. Um, another thing you can do is you could flat the slot and then you can slant the tight end. And then from there, you can kind of do maybe a backside in route or a C route, uh, whatever you want to do with your solo receiver. But you'll see with this flat, sometimes they'll create kind of a natural pick and rub for it. Um, you know, so that's just something that you could kind of mess around with if you would like to. Uh, and then one last thing you could do with this, use a C route. Uh, I think the C route is one of the best routes in the game, if not the best route in the game this year. And then you could do kind of a motion over. And then now, as you see here, as Herbert is butchering this throw, uh, but as you can see, I'm getting this really glitchy separation. Now, most people don't put a deep safety, I will say. Most people that I play, they really don't put a deep safety in there. If they are consistently putting a deep safety, uh, like you're seeing here, um, my recommendation would be if he does cook him, just give him a, a second to kind of get some separation, and then you want to pass lead that up and outside, uh, or free form that up and outside. So that is the Steelers Cross. The Steelers Cross has been one of the best, I don't know if it's the best kept secret, but a lot of people um, have kind of you know been flocking uh, to the Steelers playbook for this specific uh, bomb because it is so effective against man. Now, sometimes you won't get the separation that you're looking for. So if he doesn't have a step, certainly don't throw it. But a lot of times you will, and they're going to be selling out to stop your corner routes. And when they do, you can hit them with that deep fade uh, over the top. As long as we don't get nanoed in practice mode out of cover one robber, um, you'll see. You'll see here. I'll show it to you one more time. But I will say, the better route running you get on the player, the more consistent I've noticed this. As you see here, Keenan Allen has been getting separation pretty much every single time. Whereas Mike Williams, even though he might get a, a win off of the line of scrimmage, he might actually get ran down from behind. So that's just something to think about. But guys, if you want to check out more of the Gun Bunch offense, I think that this offense is once again one of the better offenses in the game. You can get my full Gun Bunch Steelers offensive ebook. Uh, we released it several weeks ago. And uh, you can get that in our Patreon, and we're going to be updating that as well for you guys. Again, it's just 10 bucks to get access to everything over there. And we got a ton of breakdowns out of the Steelers book this year. One of the better playbooks in the game for sure, especially if you run Gun Bunch. So if you want to check that out, head on down to the description below. Click the link down below to go sign up for the Patreon. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you guys over at the Patreon page.